Hello, I'm Michael for GameWatch.com, and today we're going to be reviewing the new Stellaris DLC, Leviathans. Now, Stellaris upon launch was a great sci-fi 4X strategy that had a specific set of problems. Its major complaint was a lack of mid-game content for players to get their hands on. Critically acclaimed and well received upon its debut, Stellaris picked up a strong community of players and modders, and those modders allowed the game to keep its replayability and longevity while the developers worked on updating some new content. Alongside the new paid DLC also comes the latest free update, containing bug fixes, user interface improvements, space creatures rework, and some major reworks to the in-game systems. The Heinlein 1.3 update complements the new DLC well and players should get a lot out of the free patch alone. The Leviathans DLC is a major addition to Solaris even on the back of the major free content patch. Leviathan brings to the table new gameplay and new ways to advance and expand your empire. The new Enclave system is one such feature. Enclaves are remnants of past civilizations that have decayed into small but formidable factions. Enclaves come in three types, traders, curators and artisans. Enclaves are a great resource to be used diplomatically. Each type of enclave offers something unique. Traders for example will trade resources for other resources and should you get a high opinion from them, they will trade the valuable strategic resources with you. Curators are bastions of technology and they can be a tough nut to crack. They are experts in research and technology and should you be good enough to broker a deal with them, they can provide you with a wealth of knowledge and benefits. Artisans on the other hand are specialised enclave in the fact that they focus on your population. They can provide growth and happiness benefits such as organising an empire wide celebration that will give you certain bonuses. The next thing are the fallen empires. Now the fallen empires are even used more in the new content than ever before. The biggest fact being that there's a new war in heaven event. Now this event is a galactic wide event that takes place when two fallen empires go to war with each other and this essentially drags in the rest of the galaxy with it. Now players can choose to join aside or try and stay out of it however all the other AI factions will either become involved or also try and stay out of it which can escalate into a giant galactic war. The War in Heaven event can be a huge amount of fun, and depending on your game difficulty, Situation it can also really updated. put your skills to the test. With numerous events happening all at once, it can really help to make the galaxy feel like it's really alive. Now outside of that event, Fallen Empires can also become Awakened Empires, should certain conditions be met, and the they will essentially become Awakened, higher. gain new traits and new goals, and they will once again begin expanding and growing their empire. The the crowning feature, however, the crowning feature of the Leviathans DLC is the Guardian Leviathans themselves. These eight guardians are comprised of different things. Some guardians are giant space creatures, others are old technology, but all have one thing in common. They are very, very tough to take down. Guardians guard rare treasures such as technology, but claiming that prize comes at a heavy cost. Now when I say Guardians are tough to take down, I mean they are one formidable tough as nails enemy. They are essentially boss fights and I love the idea of boss battles in a 4x strategy game. It's certainly something that you don't see every day and yet it works so well. Guardian Leviathans are going to require a large powerful fleet to take down and even then you might not win or expect to encounter heavy losses. Encounters are tough, tense and they look epic. Each Guardian is unique and will require different tactics to take down, so using the fleet that you have that are all missiles may, may work on one Guardian, but it won't on the next. Now the great thing about many of the minor changes in the game and the new content is the fact that the game is much more open to different playstyles. Changes have been implemented so that things like having population farming worlds is now a viable thing to do and it just means that there's more openness, there's more strategic depth in the gameplay and you're not set to go down certain paths. I have to say that the sheer array of improvements made to the core systems alone by the expansion and the free update have left Stellaris in a better place than ever before.
The fact that people can play more ways than ever before really opens up the game to more strategies both short term and long term. Leviathan specifically has addressed the mid game content issues that have plagued the game since launch. The new content provides great additions to the game that offers a nice balance between risk and reward. The Leviathan's DLC ultimately, in my opinion, is an absolute must for Stellaris players. The content offered is high quality and produces some really fantastic in-game experiences. The additions add strategic depth and overall, frankly, I couldn't see anybody going back to Priest Leviathan's patching after playing through the actual content itself. In score, it's a 9 out of 10 for us. And that is our review of Stellaris Leviathans. Thank you for watching. Head on over to GameWatcher.com for more info and we'll see you next time.